Jackie O'Callaghan, the PRO of the National Parents Council, will be responding in a moment. Dr. Nisha, first of all, good afternoon. Um, hello, good afternoon, how are you? I'm very well. So you actually think that homework is pointless? Yes, no, I think it's an incredibly short-sighted process. And what we sort of see in the tuition centre that I run is that the students are so focused on what they need to do in the way of homework for the next day that they're just sort of jumping from one crisis to the next. They're just sort of cramming all the work they need to do. They're spending hours doing it. Um, there isn't any sort of process where they're taking on the skills and learning time management and doing things effectively. They're, they're literally just going through this homework, which is quite often very repetitive. Um, and there doesn't seem to be any sort of cohesive strategy between the subjects, especially for people who are in exam years, such as junior cert and leaving cert years. So they, they end up having feeling like they should be revising as well as doing this homework. And that even the conscientious students always feel that they're not actually managing to do enough. Bad for children or bad for parents? It's bad for both because the parents are under huge pressure as well, especially um, a lot of the students that we will work with would have learning difficulties as well. And so from very young ages, from six and seven, what we're seeing is that the parents are having to step in and support this student hugely. And in some cases, what came out, like in a, in a workshop that I ran last week, um, was the parents actually admitted that in some cases they've actually done the homework for, for their children rather than have them go into school without it done because their child is so stressed out about not being able to do it and they're worried about the repercussions of them having not done it. So, and, and I know from myself, from the experience talking to parents, that whole weekends in, in families are, are, are devoted to doing homework with very little time off. Did you like homework? Um, no, I didn't like it, and, and like like you know, like all dyslexics, I would have worked three times harder than everybody else. I probably would have been quite strategic, though, to be honest with you, about what I did. And I certainly, my parents would have never felt that I needed to just do things to take the boxes. Um, they would have always allowed me to have my own judgment. But, um, but, but you know, you know, when you say that it's a waste of time, <laughs> isn't that like saying, you know, some foods are bad for you, therefore foods a waste of time? Do you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, maybe there, are, some homework is is pointless or whatever. But to say that it should be eradicated because it's useless is not. Well, I, I just I feel that the way that it's being set up to be done is is, is not constructive at the moment. And um, like, there's there's very good reasons for going away and trying to do things yourself and learning independent skills and learning how to have schedules and learning time management. Yeah. And you, you basically like, think teachers are handing it out because they feel they have to, and it's yeah, even silly stuff like, they're giving. Yeah, the parents feel that that their children should be getting homework, and the teachers feel that they should be setting it mm. and nobody seems to be really talking about why we're really right. doing it anymore okay and so you know if you take an example say Matt, well, let me just uh, bring in another yeah. another another voice on it jackie callahan jackie o'callaghan pro of the national parents council jackie hi good morning sean and thank you for having me on pleasure what do you think about what dr nisha is saying she says that homework is pointless good morning nisha um, I hold just I agree with some of the article in in part. I have to say I think it makes great sense to see it logically put out there to say that you know homework in the way she portrays it is um, bad. What I do think is that anything you learn um, and if you learn something just by rep repetitively taking it in in your mind is one way. But if you write something, I think it will always stick with you, or you will always remember writing that piece or that article or that piece of a poem. And therefore, when you come to doing an exam, as we have at the minute, I do think then it's, you know, it's something that can kind of flash back into your head. Um, I do think um, with the Department of Education changes to the new junior cycle review that it is going to lend more to going towards what Nisha is talking about and creative, you know, effective and creative ways for young people to retain stuff. And it's like anything in life, if you like something, you will enjoy it more or you will put more into it and therefore you will get more out of it. But do you think that it's a useless drug, homework? No, I don't think it's a useless drug. I think there is merit in having some homework. I do think where the difficulty is is that every teacher that your child has, especially at second level, every teacher your child has thinks that they're the only teacher that that child has and he or she is doing eight subjects for maybe junior cert or more and seven subjects for leaving cert and if every teacher gives them 30 minutes homework that's seven or eight by 30 every evening after being in school every day from nine until four and possibly doing after school study and um, so I think there needs to be an awareness brought into uh, the system whereby teachers have to be aware that, you know, this child only has so many hours in the day the same as they have. Um, but, but who's driving it here? Because according to Dr. Nisha O'Reilly, she thinks some teachers are giving homework because they think parents expect it. Now, I know parents who are sick of 
marking homework and they've children in tears every night. Yeah, it is a parent's nightmare. <laughs> and especially if your child is struggling with something, um, it's a nightmare. But I do think you probably will have some parents who think that they should be getting homework. Um, whereby I feel if they, as a parent, maybe they could um, integrate it into the school day, not all of it now, but some of it, in their class time, especially maybe in a double, a double class period, um, that they could integrate, maybe give 15 to 30 minutes of that period to do maybe project work or, um, you know, written homework and okay. essay or whatever. Dr. Nisha. Not to give the facility shown to a child to ask the questions of the teacher if there's something they don't understand. Okay, but the, 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 there is there is surely um, a value, is there not, uh, Dr. Nisha, you tell me in your own experience, there surely is a value in parents sitting with children at night, helping them with their homework. There must be some value in that, surely. Um, Yes, if, if, it's, if it's, I think there's great values in lots of things that you can learn at home from your parents. Like, I think you can learn a huge amount by spending time at home cooking with your family, um, which teaches you a huge amount of skills. Um, I think you can learn a lot by sitting around the dinner table and having debate on, on you know, the political topics that are happening um, in the world. And um, I think you can learn a lot by sitting down and watching documentaries together and talking Yeah, about yeah, them. no, but the, diff know? the difference... So, so, so those are, like, yeah, but, what I think the role of a parent is, it's a much bigger role. Yeah, but I think what I'm so trying to get... I, can no, I, no, 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 let me just get no, let me get the question across. Yeah. The point I'm trying to make is, at least then, the children and the, the parent knows what the children are doing at school as well, in terms of what they're being taught and how the, how the teacher is marking and, and, and the kind of thinking of the teacher in terms of the homework they're giving. Isn't there value in that? Um, no, I don't, I don't agree. Like, this, this is one of the things that came out of the workshop. The parents seem to see in some way of evaluating what's happening in school. And I think there's far too much focus on evaluating the teachers and what's happening in teachers. Um, learning is supposed to be an independent thing about the students. And the thing that we really promote in the homework club is that the students are taking ownership of their work. So, no, I think that they should want to do homework because they want to do it and they, they have their own goals that they set. And there's a great sense in doing in setting homework that it is about setting goals which is something Sorry, you need Sean, to like do in there. unfortunately you know as you go through life wanting to set things for you as you would like them isn't always a possibility and therefore that's probably one of the structured things you learn in school and there are set pieces for exams and that is the way it is structured at the minute be it right or wrong and unfortunately those students have to learn to deal with what that, that the expectation that that brings Okay, can I, can I just bring you back to a point that you made, which, which is kind of pivotal to this, which is that you, you said that, um, that writing things down is very beneficial to people learning. Mm -hmm. And this is part of learning the structure in school and learning the way that people assume that everybody should work. I don't feel that everybody does work effectively like that. And the way that we teach in the homework club and the, the learning method I've devised, the proper learning project, is about the fact that people learn in four different ways. And that some people are, for instance, very kinesthetic, some people are very auditory, some people are very visual, um, and some people are very practical. And the way that we set homework and the way we expect people to just learn a certain type of structure in school and a certain type of writing is what's what's really not working and what I'm saying is that if you learn effectively within the environment and you learn everything is thought in four different ways and it gives everybody the potential to succeed the way that they should be working mm -hmm. and actually finding themselves and learning how instead, they instead of having all life, all, instead of having all the same pegs in the same hole type of thing. yes 